Hey everyone, it's Kerry again. I am a disability blogger and activist, and I'm going to talk to you today about accessibility within the home. Because let's face it, everybody needs a home that's accessible. Everybody needs a home that is for their needs. And current situation right now is that we don't have enough accessible homes. For me to be able to come visit any one of you guys out there is a 7% chance for me to do that. So I won't be able to go visit my friends, my family. I have to rely solely on them coming to see me because as much as I hate to say it, I am very lucky to have my own accessible home, thanks to having tech. If I didn't have my accessible home, which I didn't, I have lived in a home that isn't accessible. I was on antidepressants. I was living a life of just existence. And that's no way to live a life when you're living in one room because that's all you can do. I didn't have an electric wheelchair where I could zoom around like I can now. And it scares me to think that there are people still out there that are living in homes, beautiful homes, but only able to access one room. So that one room is their kitchen, their bathroom, their bedroom, their living room. That's it. That's all they have because they have stairs and they haven't got access to upstairs because they haven't got money to either put a lift in their house or a stair lift in their house. You are told by your local authorities that if you're not over the age of 65, you don't qualify for a bungalow. That just needs to stop. That's just a ridiculous number to have that anyone with a disability or any disabled person and family out there has the right to have an accessible home. You also have the demographic of the fact is that we wouldn't be able to afford to buy our own bungalow because it costs tens of thousands to make it accessible for us. And we haven't got an endless pot of money. It just isn't there. So I have been campaigning towards better accessible homes. And I have spoken to the housing minister. I have also spoken to my local MP and asked him to get involved and for him to support the campaign that I'm in with having take with because if this doesn't change we are living in a world right now where we have the modern technology to live longer. Disabled people are able to have more independence because we are living longer because there are items out there that are gadgets I suppose that help us with our independence. Just having a flat landed, wide opened door for us to come through is the mm. first step. Stop building homes that have a step access because otherwise I won't be able to get in with a wheelchair. Your nan or your granddad might not be able to get in. And it's those reasons why I think we should all and I am kind of asking you all to get in contact with your MP, get your MP involved and say to them that, are you on board? Are you willing to change the legislation to make it so that houses are built that are easily adapted into accessible homes? Because I'm gonna tell you a number now that when a new home is built, if they added an extra £500 onto that new home, it would make it accessible. In the grand scheme of things, that isn't an awful lot of money. So why are we not doing it? Why is the government not put forward for this to happen already? So let me give you some numbers. 35% of people were unable to carry out even the basic of daily tasks because they don't have an accessible home. 24% of people don't have the homes that meet their accessible needs. So what is an accessible home? 
An accessible home is a wet room, a shower, a bath that you can access, a kitchen that's large enough for you to be able to move your wheelchair in and have sides that are height adjustable for you, to have enough room in your living room to be able to move around, to not have step access, to have doorways that are wide enough to fit a wheelchair with extra space, to have room to move around in your bedroom, to have the space that you need to be able to navigate your wheelchair through. That's not an awful lot. It's not a lot to ask for the fact that 24% of disabled people don't have that access to a home. And that's scary. It's scary to think that people are living in 2020 in that situation. I want you to join my campaign. I want you to use the hashtag for accessible homes and send me a picture of the favourite part of your home that's accessible to you and why you love it.